If you are someone that gets satisfaction and joy from your day job, click off the video right now. This is not for you. Go find some cat videos or something else to watch, anything. But if you are someone that wants to know a secret that your CEO will probably never admit, keep watching because what I have to say may be of interest. I've worked for several big companies over the years but had no idea why we had mandatory weekly meetings until recently. These are company names anyone would recognize, but it didn't matter what logo was on the building, we always had weekly meetings, town halls, family day, or employee involvement groups. If you're not familiar with EI meetings, this is where a group of factory workers within a department get together for about an hour and try to think of ways to improve safety or production quality. If your employer doesn't do EI groups, they most likely are holding weekly meetings instead. It mostly depends on the size of the company. Town hall meetings is when the entire organization meets in one location a few times a year for the big updates. And of course, family day would be held once a year. Anyway, nine times out of ten, nothing of major importance would ever happen at these meetings from one week to the next, but we had to show up anyway for attendance reasons. And everyone's names would be logged into an Excel spreadsheet, stored online, so the boss would know who was there and who was not. If you have weekly meetings at your job, then you know how pointless these things can be sometimes. But there is a very good reason why companies take them so seriously. Now, I'm no expert on this, but my understanding goes something like this. Corporations file taxes either as a C corporation or an S corporation. The main difference comes down to tax benefits based on the amount of profits generated each year. If they are consistently earning over $200,000 a year, then they are most likely a C corp. The company is producing something and has the credibility and legal protection with C corp tax benefits. In order to maintain credibility as a legitimate business, not only do they need to produce something of value making a certain amount of revenue, but they also must produce documentation called the meeting minutes in order to keep their C-Corp tax benefits. This data is one of the first forms of documentation a suing attorney will be requesting. That's why your employer has weekly meetings, town halls, and a family day every year. It's why someone from the HR department takes photos of all noteworthy events proving they actually happened, in case they are sued in the future. This is going to rub some people the wrong way, but the entire Human Resources Department exists mainly to protect the company from lawsuits at the state level, not to protect the employees. If you've ever been with a startup company, you'll notice that they don't have regular meetings until the organization reaches X amount of employees. When a company reaches a certain level of growth, it needs to start recording the meeting minutes as a way to protect themselves from lawsuits either from within or outside of the company. It's also why your company work schedule will change every few years even if the hours don't make any sense. Yeah, your business ideas probably are better than the CEO's, but they must have noteworthy changes happening consistently in order to keep their C-Corp tax benefits, even if it provides little to no value to the individual employee. I know this was a random video idea, but I thought it was pretty interesting. I had no idea that that was even a thing until about a week ago. So that's all I've got for you today. Uh, probably going to have something else coming out later in the week. But until then, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.